Hey songwriters and welcome back to the songwriting studio. In today's video, I want to show you how to reverse audio clips in GarageBand. Now, why would you even want to reverse audio clips? Well, reversing audio clips can create really creative and unique melodies and textures that you can use in your pop productions, in your electronic productions, or even some of your singer-songwriter productions. <laughs> So we're gonna look at how to reverse those audio clips and then we're gonna look at how to chop them up and transpose them to create really specific, unique melodies. Let's dive in. All right, so we're here inside of an original song that I'm working on that's set to release in February 2018. And I wanna show you three places in this song that I'm using reversed audio clips to create some of those unique textures and melodies. The first place that I use a reversed audio clip is right here in the intro leading into verse one. I wanted something that kind of drew your attention from the intro and transitioned into the first verse. So I'm gonna hit play on that and then show you how I did it. You filled my heart. So you hear that little reverse piano action going on. Let me solo that for you and we'll listen to it by itself. So real kind of unique, real kind of airy, real almost eerie. I, I really like that sound, but really it was pretty simple to come up with it. Here's what I did. You go over to the loops menu and I search for piano loops. So under instrument, I went to piano. I looked through lots of loops, but I ended up with this mount up piano. And I know it doesn't sound very exciting, but it was giving me some single note hits and that's what I wanted. So here's what I did. I simply dragged it in and I've created an extra track here to show you an example. And then all I did was hit E to bring up the edit window or you can hit the scissor tool as well. And once I had the edit window pulled up, I simply came down here to region, not to track, but to region and hit reverse playback. And you can see how this lines up right here. So if I clip this off and hit play, but it's not in tune with my song. It's the wrong key for my song. So what I had to do was go in and transpose it down three semitones or three keys on your keyboard. So now if I hit play, it should be in context. I'll pull in that piano. There we go. So that is the first spot where I was using reverse clips in my songs in the intro. The next two spots that I'm using reverse clips in this song are at the beginning of the bridge, the lead in to the bridge. So I'm gonna hit play and let you listen and then I'll show you what I'm doing here in the bridge. Pretty cool, some really unique textures going on. So I wanna show you what I've done here. Firstly, I have a reversed vocal line. Let me hit play on that. So it's just a line that I sang somewhere else in the song. I dragged it in, hit reverse on it, and it sounded really cool. And I said, hey, I like it. I added some reverb to it, added some delay to it. And it's, again, just carries this unique vibe and it, it becomes a texture here in my bridge. So the next thing that I did was I brought back in that piano that I used earlier and I singled out a few notes to create an ascending melody. Let me hit play on that. And then again here, I did the same leading out of it. And so I'm gonna pull in that loop again, mount up piano, and show you how I created specific melodies within that. I'm not just taking what the reversed audio gave me, I'm actually moving it around, manipulating it a bit to get the melody that I want. I'm gonna hit my scissor tool or E to bring up the edit window, go ahead and hit reverse playback on that. And now it's reversed. 
And so now I need to use Command T to break up some parts in here, okay? So I'm gonna back that up, hit Command T there. And I am basically sectioning off these single notes so that I can treat them individually, okay? And then I'll go ahead and section this off. You can see where I got this melody from. Just reverse that clip. And now to get this melody here, I actually took this note and put it right there. I took this note and put it right there. I got rid of this one and then I copied this one and put it right there. But these still aren't the same melody. I'll play them together. That's not the same melody. To get a specific melody or something that I'm going for, I actually had to transpose each of these clips. So this one was minus three. I'm gonna transpose it down three semitones. This middle one was also minus three semitones. And then the last one, I kept the same. So now if I hit play, but played in context here with some of the other instrumentation. So you get the idea. Really the possibilities are endless. You can take a clip that's a loop. You can make your own MIDI take, then export it as audio, re-import it and reverse it. You can do vocals, you can do instruments, anything. So I challenge you to go get some clips reverse them, just see what they give you, and then mess around with chopping them up and transposing them because you might come up with some really cool and interesting melodies and textures that you wouldn't otherwise get. This is Dean signing out from the songwriting studio. I'll catch you in the next video.